Hello Excel users, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to learn about Copilot in Microsoft Excel. If you've got a Microsoft 365 subscription, you've already got this game-changing tool at your fingertips. Copilot can create formulas in seconds, clean up messy data, and even build stunning visuals, all with just a few clicks. Stick with me, and by the end, you'll be surprising your colleagues with Excel skills that look amazing. Let's get started. So, what do you need to use Copilot? Just a Microsoft 365 subscription. That's your ticket to Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and more. All with Copilot in it. Open Excel and you'll spot Copilot in two places. A little icon pops up when you select a cell and there's another one on the home tab in the ribbon. Click either and you're good to go. One quick note, make sure auto save is on and your file is saved to OneDrive or SharePoint. It's as simple as flipping the auto save switch. Let's dive into a real world example. I have here a spreadsheet that lists various cookie orders we've received at Cookie Company. It includes an order ID and the corresponding product. On the right, I have a table of our products with their prices. Let's say my manager has tasked me with filling in the prices for these orders, I could manually look up each cookie and enter the price like checking the oatmeal raisin which costs $3.50 and macadamia nut which is $5.85. While I could go through this entire table by hand, it would take a lot of time because it's a big sheet. Usually you'd use a lookup function in Excel to match the price for each product but those functions can be tricky to use and you need to know the correct syntax. Let's see if Copilot can assist with this. When I click into the table, I notice the Copilot icon. I'll click it and select Ask Copilot. This opens a pane on the right where I see some suggested prompts at the top along with a text box at the bottom for my own input. Instead of being too specific, I'll ask Copilot to simply add a price column next to the cookie orders. Let's send it to the AI and see what happens. Copilot quickly suggests using the XLOOKUP function to pull in the correct prices. It also shows a preview of how the function will work and sure enough, it matches the prices correctly for oatmeal raisin and macadamia nut. Now I can click insert column and Copilot adds the prices next to each product. If I look at any of these cells, it's clear that it inserted XLOOKUP function accurately, saving me a lot of time. For example, if the price of oatmeal raisin increases, I can just type in the new price and Copilot updates all the entries for me thanks to the function. Next, let's talk about cleaning up the data. Data cleaning is often tedious, but it's essential to get good insights. For example, look at column B, which combines the region and product. And in column C, we have customer types, but the formatting is a mess. Plus, the quantity sold column is missing some data. Cleaning up data is a huge part of analysis, probably 80% of the job. Let's see if Copilot can make this easier. I'll highlight column B and ask Copilot to separate the region from the product into two columns. Copilot suggests a function and shows a preview of the result. I'll apply the change and now the region and product are in separate columns. Next, in column C, we need to fix the formatting of customer types. There are inconsistencies like lowercase letters and extra spaces. I'll ask Copilot to clean this up by removing extra spaces and standardizing capitalization. When I apply the change, the data looks much cleaner and it doesn't alter the original data, only producing new output. Now, let's look at the quantities sold. Some values are missing, so I'll ask Copilot to fill those in using the unit price and total revenue. Copilot creates a function that completes the missing quantities. It doesn't modify the original data, which is great. Let's move on. In column D, I have the order month, but I only care about the month, not the year. I'll ask Copilot to extract just the month and it generates the correct function. Now I can see only the month in that column. Now let's try calculating the profit margin. I'll ask Copilot to add a column for this and it quickly comes up with a formula to calculate profit margin. I'll insert the column and it does the calculation for me. Next, let's highlight rows where the profit margin exceeds 50%. Normally, this would require some complicated conditional formatting, but Copilot does it with just a few clicks. I send the prompt and Copilot applies the formatting to the rows where the profit margin is above 50%. Now, let's sort the data. I want to sort by profit margin and order month. I'll type in the prompt and Copilot sorts everything exactly how I want. We can also use Copilot to filter the data. My manager wants to see just specific order numbers. I'll ask Copilot to filter the view, input the order numbers, and it instantly applies the filter. That was really easy. Now let's summarize the data. I want to see total profit by region, which would normally require a pivot table. But I'll let Copilot handle this by typing a simple prompt. Copilot creates a table showing profit by region and adds it to a new sheet. For a visual representation, I'd like to see a line chart showing total revenue by month. I'll ask Copilot to generate this chart and it produces one that I can add to a new sheet. The chart provides a clear picture of our revenue over time. Next, let's dive into customer feedback. I'll select the feedback column and ask Copilot to summarize it. 
Copilot provides a summary of the feedback, highlighting positive comments and areas for improvement. Now for an advanced feature, let's generate a word cloud to visualize this feedback. Excel doesn't have this functionality by default, but with Python integration, Copilot can generate it. I'll ask Copilot to create a word cloud using Python and it gives me the visual representation. Let's go further and analyze the sentiment of this feedback. I'll prompt Copilot to perform sentiment analysis and it assigns sentiment scores to each piece of feedback. This helps me quickly understand whether feedback is positive, neutral or negative and I can easily focus on areas that need attention. Now let's use this advanced Python analysis on the original dataset to build a dashboard. I'll ask Copilot to create a dashboard with charts to help me better understand the data. After running the analysis, Copilot provides a comprehensive dashboard with various charts like revenue by region and profit margin by product. To use Python in Excel, you need to be on the current version of Microsoft 365, so be sure to check your settings. Lastly, Copilot provides a prompt gallery which offers various pre-built prompts to make your work even easier. From explaining formulas to adding totals and sorting, the Copilot gallery has it all. You can access it by clicking the icon in the bottom right corner of your Excel window. And that's a wrap. Copilot in Excel is your secret weapon, formulas, cleanup, visuals, even Python powered insights, all made simple. Whether you're managing a cookie company or anything else, Copilot turns chaos into clarity. Love this? Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos. See you in the next one.